Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And in today's video, I wanted to share a quick clip from a recent Splinterlands TV stream where we were talking all things land and the topic of totems came up. So I wanted to share, I guess, my assessment of totems as somewhat of a, I guess you'd call it an asset class within uh, Splinterlands and kind of how I view totems currently and, and what I'm personally looking at doing with totems uh, currently and well, potentially in the future as well. So let's hop into the video. I don't actually own any totems. Um, I had been asked to create a video on totems, and I can do that maybe this week coming up, but I don't own any totems right now. Yeah, Dragon's saying 50% of all totems will get um, uh, basically revealed uh, once land goes live. And that, that's why I haven't invested in any totems, because I came way too late to the game. I didn't get any free totems, and totems are, <clears throat> in my mind, kind of expensive. Um, and if 50% of them can still be mined or minted. I'd rather take my chances on getting some of those from farming land than paying for them now, because I'm not gonna buy, like for a tract of land, 100 totems. That's not gonna happen. I can't, can't afford that, number one. Uh, but two, you know, they're still minting totems, 50% to be exact. They're not minting land. So I'd rather buy land rather than totems. And we also don't know what totems are even gonna do, other than they're gonna provide benefits to land. So that seems a very hazy area. What is a benefit? And how much is a benefit worth? Is it worth $15, $20? You know, is it worth a dollar? I have no idea. So I, it's, it's very speculative totems in my mind. Um, and it's not something that I'm, that I'm looking at right now, just because there's way too much unknown. There's a lot of unknown with land in general, but totem is just like a black box. And uh, I'll, I'll take my chances and wait on that personally. Getting tracks originally, I think there was a lottery for, for totems uh, at one point. Um, but if you're buying stuff on the secondary market right now, it just doesn't make sense to buy totems in my mind. It's just uh, expensive and uh, too much of an unknown. Like, if you, let's, let's take a look at totems as an example. Like if I look at a common totem here, A common totem is selling for $20, right? Uh, we don't know what it does. We know there's gonna be more of them made, but then I can buy a plot of land, for let, let's just say $200. So I can buy 10 totems, which I have no idea what they'll do, and more are gonna be minted. Or I can buy a plot of land, which no more are gonna be minted. So for me, I just rather save my hive and get a plot of land rather than totems. Just my personal investment kind of idea there. Nuts. Entertainment. 